Nobody ever walked this earth that preached more on hell than the Lord Jesus. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Nobody ever got as descriptive about hell as the Lord Jesus. Weeping, wailing, gnashing of teeth, outer darkness. He said, cut your hand off if it'll keep you out of hell. The Lord Jesus said that. He said that. He preached about a place that he knew was there. He preached about hell. You don't hear much preaching about hell. There's no fear of God. There's no fear of hell. Nobody feels like that if they die that there's going, they're going to go to a place of judgment and be judged for their sins. But they will. They will. Well, I got a letter from hell. You want me to read it for you? I got a letter from hell. This is a letter from hell. I'm writing to you from the most horrible place that I've ever seen and more horrible than you could ever imagine. It's black here, so dark that I cannot even see all the souls I'm constantly bumping into. I only know there are people like myself from the blood-curdling screams. My voice is gone from my own screaming as I writhe in pain and suffering. I cannot even cry for help anymore and it is no use anyway. There's no one here that has any compassion at all for my plight. The pain and suffering in this place is absolutely unbearable. It consumes my every thought. I could not know if there were any other sensation to come upon me. The pain is so severe it never stops day or night. The turning of days does not appear because of the darkness. What may be nothing more than minutes or even seconds seems like many endless years. The thought of this suffering continuing without end is more than I can bear. My mind is spinning more and more with each passing moment. I feel like a madman. The fear is just as bad as the pain, maybe even worse. I don't see how my predicament could be any worse than this, but I'm in constant fear that it might be at any moment. My mouth is parched, will only become more so, so dry that my tongue cleaves to the roof of my mouth. I recall that old preacher saying that what's saying that's what Jesus Christ endured as he hung on that old rugged cross. There's no relief, not so much as a single drop of water to cool my swollen tongue. He says, an earthly torment would be far better than this, to die a slow agonizing death from cancer, to die in a burning buildings, the victims of 9-11 terror attacks, even to be nailed to a cross after being beaten unmercifully like the Son of God, but to choose these over my present state, I have no power. I do not have that choice. We are all believers in this terrible place, but our faith amounts to nothing. It is too late. The door is shut. The tree has fallen. And here shall it lay in hell, forever lost. No hope, no comfort, no peace, no joy. Can you imagine what a terrible shock it'll be for some folks? when they lift up their eyes in hell. You were religious, you were good, you were a good moral person, everybody bragged about you, you were well known in your community, but you never, ever, ever knew the Lord Jesus Christ. And you died and you lifted up your eyes in hell. Don't go there. I believe hell is a real place and I believe Christ died to keep you out of hell. And the only way that you can be sure you're not going to hell is to have the Son of God as your Savior. Father, in Jesus' name, I ask you to use what I've preached this morning for the glory of God. If there's some soul that heard this preaching today, never been saved, never, ever, ever been saved, they heard this letter from hell, they can see themselves waking up in hell after they die here. They can see themselves being shocked with the darkness and the pain and the screaming, and they can't do anything about it. I pray for that soul this morning. I pray that you'd save them for Jesus' sake. And for Jesus' sake we pray, amen.